What's up guys? So recently I got a new job where I'm required to be armed and able to wear body armor. Actually, it's recommended. Instead of waiting for them to issue me one, I decided to buy my own carrier. Actually, I carry my own firearm. I carry a Beretta M9. Well, I didn't know a lot about body armor, so I opened it up on Facebook asking people for their recommendation. And, uh, <laughs> Wow. Uh, <laughs> I know what a new gun owner feels like because there was so much information thrown at me and a lot of hate for other brands. You had the people that were saying the airsoft gear was just as good because you can get carriers that are meant for airsoft that will hold plate, actual armored plates. Uh, those people were saying those were just as good. And then you had the top tier guys that were saying, oh, I'm an operator or, you know, I've worn these a lot and only the top tier work. It was just amazing. There's so many brands being thrown at me and so much hate for other brands. Only my brand is the good brand. <laughs> so if you're looking into armor, uh, take a deep breath, all right? You're gonna get a lot of things thrown at you. Just take a deep breath. Now, I went with a shell back. It's not exactly the low end or the, it's kind of mid. A lot of people call it a beginner's carrier. I liked it because a lot of people were recommending it on comfort. My shifts can be anywhere from eight hours to 16 hours. That means I'm gonna be wearing this for a long time. So I wanted something comfortable. And a, a lot of people were saying this is very comfortable. It's not exactly the most breathable thing. The first time you put this on, it feels like it's kind of constricting you, but you get used to that. And at first, I found this, it was a little bit, you know, sore on the shoulders, but I, I was not adjusting it properly. I fixed it. Now it's very comfortable. It feels really good on me. Um, the one complaint I have with it is uh, um, the adjustments. That's how you adjust it. It's loud. <laughs> but... It's strong at least, but it is loud. <laughs> now the plates I went with were ceramic and that was another thing was a lot of people fighting between uh, AR-500 or you know steel plates or ceramics. I went with ceramics. You don't have the spalding issue. So with steel, when a, a projectile hits it, it's gonna break and projectiles can come up at you. Now there is a coating that they put on it, but I've heard mixed things about how well that works. With ceramics, you don't have that problem. Now the, the problem with ceramics is they, they're more brittle. So they're, this one is multi-hit capable, but it's not like steel where it, it can take quite a bit of abuse. If, if you're carrying this thing around, you gotta be careful how you put it down when you take it off because it can be brittle, it can crack. You don't wanna get it to be compromised. And supposedly, they can expire. Now, <laughs> I've seen quite a few people that have shown expired ceramics and shown that they still stop exactly what they are advertised. So I ended up buying one of these just to shoot. Now this is an actual um, expired plate. Let's see here. I think it was, it's a small plate and it was manufactured in 2006. So this is definitely expired. Um, the guy who sold it to me said that he actually shot a couple of these and they held up just fine to multi hits of 308 so I think it was 308 don't quote me on that uh, I he said he shot it multiple times and I've seen some other videos as long as there's no cracks or bubbles or any kind of deformation on the ceramic they should still work I'm gonna make a whole video and I definitely want your recommendations down in the comments below what I should shoot this plate with but it is rated for 7.62s and it is multi-hit rated. So I, I definitely want to test this thing out. So any recommendations you guys have for this, let me know down in the comments. But the thing I really like about ceramics more than anything is they're so much lighter 
and they're so much more comfortable to actually carry around. Uh, a couple of my coworkers have the steel um, AR500 plates, and they are heavier, quite a bit heavier. This is very manageable. Plus, their plate carriers were actually the airsoft ones, and they're comfortable, but it does hurt your shoulder after a while. This one is a lot more comfortable and a lot more lighter. So that's why I went with ceramics, because they could stop rifle rounds. They're multi-hits capable, and they're lighter. Now, they are thicker, so I've been told you got to be careful and make sure that your plate carrier will actually fit them. But the shell back, it slid right in just fine when I got it. Um, I just got some 10 by 12s. Actually, if you're thinking about a shell back, they have uh, multiple sizes. They even have one for 11 by 12, I believe. But anyways, uh, that's why I went with ceramics. But if you guys are looking into body armor, first thing I would recommend you do is find something that people have carried and say is comfortable. It doesn't matter how good the vest is if you don't want to wear it. Like if you wear it for an hour and you're in pain or yeah, bruising or rash where the straps are rubbing against you, that's not good. You're not going to want to carry it. It doesn't matter if it would be a good vest. It doesn't matter if you're not wearing it. So make sure it's something comfortable that people like to begin with. Two, make sure the quality is up there. You make sure that there's a lot of good reviews on the quality, the make. You don't want something that's going to start falling apart on you, obviously. And then the last thing is you want something that uh, makes you feel more comfortable. There's definite levels of body armor. Like I said, this one is 762. So it's, it's a higher level. There are some levels that are like Kevlar that are more comfortable, but will only stop pistol rounds. And if you're wearing Kevlar, all that uh, momentum is still going to go into you. It'll stop the bullet, but it doesn't stop it from the vest actually pushing on you. I was trying to think of a good way to put it. It will not stop the impact on you. So broken bones, you know, internal injuries can still happen with those kind of vests. But they are probably the most comfortable. That's why... I, I like this. This has the comfortability. It's kind of the in-between of Kevlar and steel. It can stop multiple rounds. It doesn't deform like Kevlar, but it's not as heavy as steel. But I am definitely not an expert. Uh, <laughs> uh, I, I've had this job since December, so I haven't had a lot of experience with multiple different types. I've never actually been shot, luckily. <laughs> so I definitely recommend doing your research but the whole reason I made this video was if you're like me and you're looking at something don't get overwhelmed by everything getting thrown at you look for what's comfortable now if you want my recommendation shellback I really like it other than the cummerbund is really loud and kind of a pain to adjust you know but um, I find it very comfortable and I really in enjoy wearing it for a whole shift, which should speak volumes. And with the ceramics, it's very comfortable. And actually, I'm thinking about getting more accessories, you know, maybe a med kit, things like that. Uh, right now, the only thing I'm putting in these slots is like my pen and uh, my truck keys. But <laughs> eventually, I'm going to do some more upgrades to this. So any recommendations, uh, don't overwhelm me like Facebook, but uh, you can put it down in the comments below. But if you guys would like to see another video on why I'm carrying a Beretta M9, put something down in the comments below. But if, uh, if you want to just check out my last couple of videos I made of this thing, my review is about the same. You know, I really like this firearm and I trust it. And I'm going to be making a video on this plate very soon. So any recommendations of what I should do to it, let me know. <laughs> let me know. Let me know down in the comments below. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to have a lot of cool content coming up, hopefully on things I know a lot more about than body armor. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned.